friends? Hello, welcome back. Hopefully everyone's day's been going well. We got a lovely suggestion here today by Nolan. I swear we've used the Ottawa Senators for something like this before, but nonetheless, I, I couldn't find the video. So we're doing it again. You want to go see us go out there and build a team of all the best active players for a particular team. Now today we're going to do the Ottawa Senators because it was one of the first teams that come to mind to me team that let a lot of players go in the past year that were solid players where would they be if they had all of their active players that were their best players back but if there's another team you guys want to see us do feel free to suggest them down below in the comment section as always but let's go ahead and uh right bumper instead of left bumper short there we go but let's go ahead and take a peek at this ottawa senators team here today we got a nice one first line Mikey Hoffman, Matt Duchesne, and Mark Stone. Duchesne's only 85 now? Really? Okay, so Matt Duchesne, a little bit of a downgrade to the overall there. We'll see how he sims up. We're going to see that's a common theme with some of these ex-Senator players, but Matt Duchesne first lining it. Mark Stone, who's been one heck of a talent over there for the Vegas Golden Knights. Brady Kachuk continuing to grow and improve there. Stutzla, speaking of playing really well, his third rounder, oh, his third rounder, third overall pick. This Perrier's previous. Why can't we speak today? I don't know. That's a great question. Evgeny Dadanov looking great. Nick Foligno, ex senator, current Blue Jacket baby, Stepan, Connor Brown, the Zingoy senator once again. Kyle Turris coming back. Colin White still here. And on defense, this is where things are still a little bit uh, not good. <laughs> it's not horrible. You get Shabbat and Eric Carlson. Pretty solid first line. Carlson, again, another guy who's seen a little bit of a downgrade. He was that 90 overall, but not even that long ago. Did he just get the downgrade? I don't remember him being an 88 to start this season. He might have been, but he's not, or he is now, that's for sure. So, Coborn, second line. Zaitsev, Riley, and Cody CC. Welcome back to the Ottawa Senators. Got to take a look at this goaltending, though. A pretty solid goaltending group here. Ben Bishop, who spent that half a season over here in Ottawa right after, was it? Right after, I want to make sure we get it right here. Tampa Bay. No, not Tampa Bay. Um, down, Wrong direction here. St. Louis. He was with St. Louis, came over for that trade. A little bit with Ottawa, and that's it. And then we have Robin Lehner returning to Ottawa as well. So pretty solid goaltending duo there. Can that goaltending duo carry this defense? Which, I, again, got to be careful how we say it because it is a really... You know, good top two. I mean, I would love to have Shabbat and Eric Carlson on my team any day of the week. But once you get past those top two guys, how can the rest of this team play? That is always the story of Ottawa, though, right? Throughout the years, how can this team play defensively? They're putting up the goals. Right now, looks like the defense isn't mattering because this Ottawa Senators team is 7-1. Looking like they are poised for a Stanley Cup run, to say the very least. Top of the division. Losing streak coming here. See if we can settle down a little bit there. Over there in Florida, going back to Detroit, losing again there. Pittsburgh dropping it. Florida W, Dallas W, Rangers L. Senators, though, still third place. Tough division to play as well. You got to remember, using an Ottawa Senators team in the Atlantic. And the Atlantic, which you already thought had four bona fide solid playoff teams. Now you're trying to get Ottawa to go in there, fight for a spot, even maybe even five. You know, Ottawa's just kind of that shoe and to be the worst team in that division, trying to turn things around. See if that franchise in general can start turning things around. In real life, again, you bring a guy like Stutzla in. I think that's a good cornerstone piece right there they got in Stutzla, Ottawa, though. Right now, heading into the end of January, 31-15. and 15. Not too bad. No question about it, though. This could come down to the wire here. Still a third-place team, but you lose four, five, six in a row here in March, and things could get ugly. Here we go. Lost to Philly. You don't want to see that. There's a W there against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Still bubble team, wild card team, Ottawa Senators. It's going to be a weak postseason, it looks like, when it comes to needing points to make that wild card. Because 43 wins is going to do it for the Ottawa Senators. They did make playoffs with this team. Bringing all the boys back. Some solid players. And, you know, the specialist on defense like Mark Stone coming back there from a forward standpoint, we should say. You bring back Eric Carlson. Still no dominant player. Stutzla simmed up really well. From a point perspective, Carlson doing what he did back in Ottawa, leading a team in points. But Stutzla, 26 points. Something Ottawa fans love to see right there. Still at 82 overall. Mark Stone right behind him, minus 14. Again, the defensive specialist. The guy you expected to really sim up well. Play some good defense for this team. It's actually a minus 14 here. Stutzla led this team in goals, it looks like. Yeah, he sure did. Dadanov there at 22. Not a bad season. All the Ottawa center team boys come back. Colin White led the team in plus minus. And we're going to just go this direction here a lot quicker. Yeah, it was Duchesne, minus 14. Stone, minus 14. That top line struggled. I don't know what it was. Mike Hoffman, minus 12. 
but they did not play well together. 44, 54, and 52 points as well. Again, we've seen that second line play better. We'll see what they do in postseason now. Things can turn around at any moment, right? 9-13 for Laner, 9-12 for Ben Bishop. Here we go, though. We'll see what these Ottawa Senators can do. Let's hit that playoff button here real quickly. I'm going to say Carolina's got to sit down. Don't at me, baby. Carolina is sitting down in the first round. We're going to give them, wait, not three games. We'll give them four games. We'll give them four. Sit down, Carolina. Or not, or not, or not. Okay, cool. Sure. Ottawa's gone. It's nice playing, Ottawa. They made playoffs. That's about it. I'm surprised they made playoffs. Again, I was really concerned about the defense. They brought some solid players back, but I was still concerned about that defense. They didn't have a lot of depth. 3-1 there. Ottawa trying to bounce back. Mark Stone, Stepan, and Dadanov all getting goals for these Senators. Don't count them out just yet. We're just writing them away. Ottawa says just hold on a second here. Power play. Can they add an insurance goal? The answer is no. Got another power play. Carolina can't stay out of the box. Ottawa going to go out there and give up a goal instead, though. Going to answer right back, though, is the Zingo on his former team. There's the insurance goal. That should do it. Ottawa's going to win this one. 6-2. We're going to a game number six. Ottawa's not out of this yet. Don't count these guys out. These 3-1 series leads are the scariest of all leads when it comes to simming in this game. Period one, done. What do we got? Mike Hoffman, Dougie Hamilton holding it down. Oh, we're going to jump ahead once again. This time, the captain of the Blue Jackets, Nick Foligno, is going to put one in the back of the net. Ottawa's got a chance. Power play senders. Insurance, there it is. Got it that time. Matt Duchesne with the goal. Ottawa needed that one. Big time power play, Carolina. There's been a lot of power plays in these third periods. It has been a lot for the uh, Ottawa Senators. Carolina going to get a couple power plays back to back, though. Ajo with the goal there. Can the Senators hold off for the final three minutes? There's the insurance goal. Yes, we're going to go to a game number seven. Ottawa bouncing all the way back down 3 1. We was counting them out. All of a sudden, these guys have a bona fide chance. At getting to the second round here, upsetting these Carolina Hurricanes, the wild card team in the first round here. Here we go. Three. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Trocheck. Pesci. McGinn. Ottawa's got a tall hill to climb here. They want to come back in this one. 3 1 to start the period. Carolina power play killed up. Ottawa, a little momentum going here. Maybe. Possibly. There's the power play. Need a goal. Not going to get it. Carolina's got to hold this one down, I think. Carolina is going to hold this one down. They let them come all the way back. But the Carolina Hurricanes are still going to knock those Ottawa Senators out in the first round. Senators couldn't quite get the job done, bringing all their former teammates back. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and see who wins this Stanley Cup, just in case it was Carolina. See if we lost to the Cup winners. But that's going to pretty much wrap things up for this video. Again, want to hear the suggestions. Is there other teams you guys are like, hey, let's bring all the players back. I think I thought Bruins was another one. I thought it'd be an interesting one because of the Shirelli era. Bring all these players back. Edmonton maybe, I guess, and see how they would do if they was on this team once again. Oilers, speaking of Edmonton, win the Stanley Cup. That's going to wrap things up, though. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.